Now, okay, so like as your collection's grown, do you have like a certain piece that you're just like, yeah, that's my favorite. That's like the crown jewel of my collection. Oh yeah. Do you guys want me to show you yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I I feel like I get the most compliments from this piece and I I didn't I love uh, that pillow. You... Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh so, my god. Dad Bokuto? Yes. <laughs> I, yeah, I love him. He's my favorite. Oh, God, okay. I love when he gets fired this, up. <gasps> oh, this is oh my, my favorite God. piece. Wow, I've yeah, never seen so that before. She was like a limited edition um, piece. Like, I don't think you can get her now. It was I got her like pre-ordered like and waited a year for it to come oh, yeah. in. And I was like, She's oh, my so gosh, pretty. that is immaculate. Yeah. And it's. And I love how like the shoe hangs off too. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, the attention. Off, oh, but... that's so cool. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, like the attention to detail mm -hmm. and like the book can come off <gasps> nice. and everything. Yeah, it's really nice. That is. A, I love her. That is so. a really nice piece. Yeah. Oh, I'm really tempted to ask how much was that? <laughs> this actually is not my most expensive piece. This oh, okay. one was around a hundred and sixty dollars. Oh, not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah, for a resin statu statue, I feel like it's pretty good. Definitely not. I no. mean, $160 is still $160. It, it is, is, yeah, no. For someone who has, like, no interest in collecting stuff like this, I'd be like, you spent $160 on that? But I'd be like, mm -hmm. damn right I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. considering spending $160 on a video game. So don't judge me. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, and I'm really sorry, but I'm super curious now. What mm -hmm. is your most expensive thing? It's also a, uh, I'll grab it. Too. It's also a Nico Robin figure. Um, oh, if you can't, of course, it's a Nico Robin figure. I <laughs> have to be. I love um, that figure oh, so much. Wow, you have so that. One. I'm so oh. jealous. I do have this it's one. Such, yes, it's my favorite Nico so, Robin figure. Really? Yes, hundred percent. I when it went back on because I think they originally sold this years ago before i became a collector and then they redid they're like oh let's like revamp it and do like another pre-sale so i was like okay i'm gonna hop on this opportunity because mm -hmm. now i'm a collector i'm just gonna get it this one was i think like after taxes and shipping was like 200 and 90 or 280 dollars still not bad that's not horrible yeah yeah, no. yeah. No, still not horrible <laughs> i i haven't quite reached buying you know those like thousand dollar <laughs> statues those ones are crazy it's okay but it's i really actually <laughs> yeah i did just pre-order one an, another nico ramen figure though that one was 375 oh, but wow. that's not gonna come for probably like six more months i think okay, but okay. yeah so there's got time yeah you got yeah. time i'm looking yeah. forward to the unboxing video for that one. Oh yeah <laughs> yes uh, there would definitely be an um, unboxing video for that Hell for yeah. sure man i love seeing other people's collections mm -hmm. like i got into it too and like funko's was what got me into starting to collect certain mm. stuff i used to hate funko yeah. pops like i thought they were the dumbest thing like i didn't understand like why people would collect them i was like i, just, I don't get it you can't do anything with them <laughs> but then like my friend uh got me a like a little goku funko pop like just a very like you know generic one nothing crazy but i was like oh that's nice you know like i, I like drag ball obviously so i was like okay one's not bad then i got another one as a gift and then another one. And then I met these fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and before I knew it, we were going out to like antique malls, like uh, flea markets and stuff where people would have a bunch of them. And then you, the more anime you watch, you start realizing, wait, I recognize that character. Oh, I know that character yeah. too. And you're like, well, I mean, I, I might as well get it a friend, you know? <laughs> <laughs> get it a friend. I love that. And before I knew it, I had so many Funkos. I, I literally looked at my entire collection, and I recently moved uh, earlier this past year. And when I put them all, they took up like at least three or four different boxes. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I think I need to show. <laughs> yeah, we've nice. all had a cut back a lot a little bit yeah because like and i keep the boxes for it too because i don't want them to get like damaged so like some of the really nice ones i don't take out of the box i will mm -hmm. eventually but not anytime soon um mm -hmm. and I, it's also easier like transporting them but they take up a lot of room my entire like top shelf in my closet is just full of empty bunko boxes now oh shit